Hello viewers, welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. How y'all doing? It's been two days, a whole two days since we've had a live chat. So I hope you guys had a good one. Did you catch the bus bus that was fired at Miyoko, who was just chilling on his own in innocently on social media? Or the horrific news of David who lost his life due to terrible negligence of police and hospitals. Anyway, rest, rest in peace to him. I wanted to start the show with that. Um, but we're back. We're back with a fantastic mood. And we, we're going to promise that this week is going to be awesome. And this is Tea Time, the baddest entertainment analysis show that does it better than nobody else, like I always say. While sipping tea, we serve you with the hottest news, celebrity breakdown, and everything pertaining lifestyle. If it's hot, we are going to talk about it. And when I say we, I mean Enyola and Ifalu Ashike. Hey. Hi. It's good, guys. Yes. Oh. It's our daddy's birthday. I know, yeah, right? yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. That's our boss, mm -hmm. Mr. Are we going to sing her happy birthday? No, song? please. Well, Except if you want to go ahead. Yeah, yes. I'll voice. give you the beat. Yeah, I would uh, dance. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear MD. Mm. Happy birthday to you. Okay! Oh, and the little oh, my so soprano <laughs> circling in there. <laughs> Happy birthday, boss. Happy I hope you have an amazing you, day. That means nobody's allowed to stress the boss today, mm -hmm. I think. I think yeah. that's what we're going to do. We're just going to be good. And our best we get. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but yeah, we hope you, we'll go and bill him when we finish with the show because that's just how 2020 is going to 2021 is going to be. Mm -hmm. It's your birthday. We are billing you. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Not the other way around. No, uh -huh. not the other way around. The fact that you made it, you're already a celebrity star, so you have to pay or something. Hey. Alrighty. Alrighty, how was your weekend? Um, Litty Litty. Litty Litty? Mm. Mm. Okay, what was Litty Litty about it? Nah, you don't need to know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just know it was Lit. Right. I came into your estate. In fact, I passed your house if mm -hmm. oh, yeah? on Saturday. I was like, should I say? Eh, uh, ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> on Saturday or yesterday? Saturday. Last night? Because I got a call from your squad. I got calls from mm -hmm. your squad last night. No, it was Saturday. Okay. Saturday. Which squad? Oh, okay. I know mm -hmm. the squad you're talking about. Oh, uh, did you deliver? <laughs> hey, hey, online television. Okay, I'm lost. I love Uber. <laughs> no, I made it, uh, you don't know that if there's a vibe, they used to hire for vibes. Mm. He does hype my business. Okay. He's someone that used to make things uh, happen. If there's PL, say yeah. okay. You know? He's mm. my manager. Uh, I'm telling okay. you, Val, if mm. you want your first services, please call me. <laughs> can I give him my number? Yeah. Stop yeah, it. you can. Stop it. If I, I have to give him my number. If I don't give him my number, I thought take all the money. <laughs> let the money come through me first. So anyway. let him just send you a DM on Instagram. Hey, mm -hmm. I like that one too. But you? Uh, Netflix. Lord, no, no. Okay. I actually tried something new, which I regretted. Uh, I went to the gym. Oh. I went to exercise. After everything, I found it very hard to sit down on my own. <laughs> like, I literally had to hold people if I could <laughs> sit down. I'm not going back very soon. Okay, gym so what did you do me. at the gym? Ah, uh, normal cardio and try lifting weights. Like, the fact is... You no try lifting weights? Yes. Yeah, I was trying to test my muscles. What happened to small? I think that's where it went wrong. Yeah. I was just like, okay, today is the day where will I come back again? Let me do everything. I said, yeah, do it all. Yeah. I wish the gym was like you go in there, you put all the effort, you come out with a banging body. I, I know, swear. Right? Just one day. Even if it, even <laughs> if the body lasts for a day, <laughs> let me put the effort and see it like immediately. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like, I like six that. packs. Immediately. Yeah. Anyway, my kid was what fine. What are you doing well. in my estate? I'm just wondering. <sighs> Going to go and do the do's. Hmm. With the Malians? Um, no, it wasn't the Malians. Okay. Um, but yeah, I like your estate, yeah. Who it's lives in my estate? Quite potential ah. people. There's a headquarters for one record label like this. Like, what? Mm -hmm. I'm giving you tips, Wayfair. That what? A headquarters of mm -hmm. a record label is there. Mm -hmm. Once you once we pass your estate, we turn that way. Malians? No, it's mm -hmm. not. No. Ah, there's more people now. Thank Don't let's make this like Tell that. Me. Okay. Ah. Anyway. Tell me the record label. You were low-key about your your tent, yeah, whatever. I think I was asked to be low-key about certain things. No, no, no. It was a private meeting, I so yeah. Private. Ah. Mm -hmm. well, you know when it's there. private, you really can't spill. I don't kiss himself. If I be hooking me up to these private things. Oh, yeah? And now. Uh, <laughs> okay. Please. I want her to be... But you passed on Saturday. You could have been hooked up. I, don't, well, I wasn't even sure if you're going to be home. Because so, it was really early. I'm even early. sure I still live there. Exactly. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, okay. Ah, you left out. I sorry, still live in the estate, but are you sure I still live in the house? That's, that's true. That was mm -hmm. self-day. Anyway, so uh, we have a tradition of like obviously finishing stories. If we start something, we want to finish. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been talking about Dr. Dre being mm -hmm. in the hospital and all of that. So there's finally good news, and it would not be nice not to share the good news. 
So the producer has been discharged from the hospital after being treated for brain aneurysm. A lawyer for the hip-hop star, who's 55, said on Saturday that he was now back at home without giving further details. I guess there's a lot of like privacy mm -hmm. thing going on, which they are very much allowed to do. A day earlier, actor and rapper Ice-T said that he had spoken to Dr. Dre, describing him as safe and looking good. The media also reported on 5th of January that Dr. Dre had been taken to Cedars Siena Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dre's team later issued a statement saying that the rapper, whose real name is Andre Romel Young, was in stable condition. So I think the summary of this conversation is that my it guy is better. Is better. Okay. We weren't sure if it was home, if it was fine, if it was not, if it was getting bad, if it was in ICU. Mm -hmm. There's a lot that has been going on with that. But I think it's fair to say he's fought a good fight and True. he's back home now. Yeah, and nice. they said they wanted to conduct tests to see what caused the aneurysm in the first place. I think we, we deserve to know because I think <laughs> we, we stated, stated out a theory that maybe it's because of heartbreak or something. So I really want to know what caused it in the first place. I mean, if it's heartbreak, mm -hmm. but do you think it was shown the test? Mm. Like, do you think well, let's, let them just say that maybe something else, but yeah, I guess so. Else. I mean, yeah, if then, mm -hmm. um, basically, I just I'm just glad, man, that um, mm -hmm. Dr. Dre is back. Uh, yeah. Wait first, I'm not sitting the haircut, too. Oh, yeah, this is a serious matter. <laughs> yeah. He my guy put lines and stuff, yeah, like I'm trying, trying to be young, hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. Trying to be young again, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. He'll be doing like he's like 40 old. or something. I'm not 40, but at least I think my mind is 60. Hmm. Ah, it's okay. okay. <laughs> my, mind is, my mind too is 40. Yeah. Please, I'm a baby girl for life. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. Have you, baby hmm. boys. You don't see my haircuts. Baby boys. Style. It's fresh. Good. Yeah. I, don't I don't know what's happening with mm -hmm. the fit today. I don't know. I don't I like know. Oh, oh they zoomed it. Oh, you guys want to see. <laughs> oh, my God. I see. Oh, I see. The cam you, Thank plus you, guys. Plus the cameraman Yo. and the people behind this. You people are, you people are indulging in fit. <laughs> and when con they connect the street, I mean, how does the street? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, so back to Dr. Dre. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad that one of the greatest minds that um, the music industry has ever seen is, you know, back on his feet and, um, yeah. you know, health is wealth. Mm -hmm. You can have all the money. I think it was the first black um, rapper yeah. to become a billionaire. So yeah. you can have okay. all the money in the world, but if you're not healthy, what are you going to do with the True. money? So I'm just yeah. glad that he's alive to spend his money or give I out swear. his money to his <laughs> wife. <laughs> hey. Is he that one no of them? No Either he spends it or gives it out to Imagine. his wife. Imagine. One of them. Mm. And she wants a lot of it. Anyway. A whole uh, lot. Uh, let's, let's well, go I was to actually the, scared. Yeah. No, sorry. When I saw Dr. Dre on the news again, I was quite scared. Like, oh my God. Like, is he, is he yeah. okay? Yeah. Because that, now it's mm. not a big deal yet, anymore. Wait, I didn't come. I just saw Dr. Dre. I was not really paying attention to it. What did you say? What did you say? I'm just messing with her. Yeah, like, I, was, the wait, I didn't complete the headline, <laughs> but, what, but I just saw Dr. Dre at first, so I was just scared. Like. So you just saw Dr. Dre? They just posted his picture on the Oh, I oh you are. my goodness. I, you get what I'm trying to say. Moving on, please. Don't worry, we get what you're trying yeah. to say. We're well, glad that the guy's alive. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Thank the Lord. You. But you, did you read the headline? Okay. <laughs> Ghanaian, Ghanaian singers Charles Ni Ama Vensa Jr., also okay. known as Shatawale. That's a lot of names, mm -hmm. actually. Asha Shatawale called out his Nigerian counterpart, Burner Boy, for making side comments about him when he was in Ghana and obviously pissed off Shatawale shammed but a boy for what he called weak move and that's me paraphrasing because it's still live TV after all. we can't say some things okay. if we get problems mm -hmm. uh, okay I'm gonna try this Should I if we you? yes please if you get problem, mm -hmm. you for link me, make we talk about them. Mm. Everywhere you go, this Ghana I know about because mm -hmm. this is my talk. Mm. The same way I go come Nigeria, you go know everywhere I go, I go trust you, mm. he said. Mm -hmm. So nobody you talk to for Ghana, I go, yeah. I be like empty and the networks they go through. Mm. So don't be talking. Yeah, go on now. Okay, so don't be talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> if we get problem, why not call me, make me laugh about um, Sif. Make me laugh about them. Yes. yes, make me laugh, basically. So mm -hmm. I guess, I mean, I also got it what he was trying to say, basically saying that the guy should have handled it better, blah, blah, blah. Um, he also went on his story again to share how, um, basically recounted how he housed Burner Boy after the now famous assault incident on singer Mr. 2K at a mm -hmm. hotel in 2007. So basically, when Burner Boy was on the run, sort of, if I'm being dramatic, 2017, sorry. Um, the the guy was there to help, but I, if I want your take on this one, actually. All right. So first off, first off, they say two wrongs don't make a right, right? Mm -hmm. um, and there's something called when you do favors. Mm. I don't think the whole world needs to know. Mm. That's one thing. 
But you know, when it was going on and on and on and on, and I was like, yo, I'm beginning to like Shata. Mm. The way he handled it, it was like, yo, be real about it. If you have a problem mm. with me, speak to me. Don't go around yeah. telling people you get. Like, that was a real G move. But it's just saying, like, you were homeless. You were this. Mm. Like, come on. Was that even necessary? No, mm. Do you understand? Like, so at the end of the day, he just Shata Wali brought himself down to Bonner Boy's level. So he was supposed to be twice as tall, now he's yeah. twice as short. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So it's so sad for um, Shatter. But don't you think? Don't you that think way. that he was saying that just to reiterate the fact that they had a personal relationship? I think he's trying. No, that's not what he's because the whole world knows. Bonner Boy calls him out in his songs. He calls Shatawale. Everybody knows. Ale, hallelujah. Mm. He called Shatter in that song. It, um, anytime he's in Ghana, he's with Shatter. There's another song where he was saying that, man, if he goes to Ghana, he has some guns, it's always Shatter. Do you understand? So, no, it's not like it's news to us that mm. Shatter and Bonner, they are cool. Okay. So, I think what he's trying to do is bask on the fact on, 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 on Bonner Boy's glory right mm. now, knowing that how big he is, you know, two-time so? Grammy nominee. Right? So, he's just trying to let the whole world know that the person will not be... Yeah, uh, uh, they are even that close that like we just stated right now makes it quite silly for him to actually come out on social media to drag um, Bonner Boy. To me, in my no, no, opinion. no, it's okay to drag him. Well, okay, wait, 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 yeah, close. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. Are you I got on that social too. Media? I was like, yeah, if you had a problem, why are you doing the live? Mm -hmm. Which is another thing I also felt, which is why I said. Um, two wrongs never make a right. Sure. So if you are trying to say someone is talking behind your back and mm -hmm. then you, you come to, on the live, and this is what I'm saying, he's trying to bask in the glow because he knows he will trend. Sure. He knows Nigerians will see it. He knows people in America will probably see it because it's a boner boy. Do you understand? So he's also trying to build his brand. I think it's just, to me, this is publicity stunt for shout um, uh, Okay. I mean, that one self is possible. Mm -hmm. But I guess I mean, I'm a little more positive. Or maybe not positive. I wasn't even say naive about it. Okay. When I saw the story, I just felt um, maybe they're not talking because um, if you, I can imagine if if Bernard Boy is anything like normal human being. Sometimes when you have a problem with somebody, you're no longer as willing to have a conversation with them on WhatsApp mm -hmm. or like pick mm -hmm. their calls or whatever. So I already feel like if Bernard Boy is talking, going around talking about how this person has upset him, he probably doesn't want him in his life at that moment mm -hmm. or whatever, which is why they can't co come in contact with each other. Okay. I think it's okay, very okay for you to go to social media and say what you want to say. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I think okay. it's okay. Especially as celebrities, they come to social media mm -hmm. for a lot of but things anyway. And Shisawal is not the kind of person that hasn't yeah. ever gone on social media to call somebody out or complain about something that he's offended at. When he felt like his award was given to somebody else, we didn't hear the rest of it and he called mm -hmm. all the names. I didn't follow the story because I don't know who he was talking about. Okay. But it's not out of character for Shatawale to mm -hmm. do that. So one, two, I think it's natural for him to also be upset to want to do it to Burner mm -hmm. Boy. Okay. I think with Burner yeah. Boy and the whole glory thing, I, I, I don't want to believe that with in terms of Shatawale because I think Shatawale is a big person in himself. And if you have a relationship with Burner Boy, mm -hmm. if you have a relationship with people, you start to see them more than just a Grammy nomination, okay. if that makes sense. Like, um, I know that people are like that in my life. That I know that in public perception, they're really admired and they glorify that. But in our circle, nobody cares how many oh, awards you have or whatever. So I don't really think, this is how I was thinking about okay. it. I don't really think it's just because he's trying to ride on glory. The guy's offended and he wants to talk about it. Now, is it childish the way... Mm -hmm. He, he did some of those things. I, I agree. I mean, when, I didn't think about it, but when you guys said the whole thing of like, why did he have to bring up the whole name thing? I mean, I, I saw it as he was just trying to emphasize on his person, on the personal relationship. But if even as close as the fair has mentioned, and there's other things you could have used to oh, no, um, mm -hmm. press the fact that that's the reason why you were bringing up all those things, not he when somebody was really down. He, there, there was a lot of snitching going mm -hmm. down. Yeah, there so, was a lot. Born a boy. Man away from Nigeria when he had the equal with that. Mr. 2K. <laughs> yeah. He ran to Ghana. Mm -hmm. And you have to tell us that, okay, so anytime we're born up, we get beef now, now your house will be Congo. <laughs> you get me? Necessary. And then secondly, if you're as tough as you say you are, right? Okay. And you know everywhere this guy did. Why you not know just go face him like a man? Yes, you. Mm. And talk to him. If hey. he's not picking your call, bro, I heard you said this. You know, not to get in a fight or anything, mm -hmm. but, you know, just go ask people questions. Well, I'm that type of person. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I have a problem with you, I'll step up to you yeah. real quick. Okay. I but I think, I think one thing you can, we can, I can agree with 100% is that Shatawale loves the attention. Yes. Cool. He's an yes. attention-seeking man in general. The only time he tries is when Nigerians speak mm -hmm. of him. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh -uh. Wow. Oh, no, no, it's no, true. No, no. No, I, no, I'm talking about in Nigeria, globally, 
and Trisha. African countries. Okay. The only time he trends, he trends in Ghana every mm -hmm. single day. Okay. That's for yeah. a fact. He's a big man in Ghana. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about in Nigeria. And Nigeria is a big market. We can't yeah. take that away from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. if, do yeah. you know how many strings? People will probably will shut that. Okay, let me go and check. Do you know how mm -hmm. many search he has now? Maybe he's, he's, they've even updated his Wikipedia page right wow, now. Wowzy. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> this guy could have updated it to uh -uh. beef with Spona. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> that was your <laughs> Beef with Bonham. They, they will put feuds. Oh, wow. Beef with Bonham. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Beef with Stone Boy. And then in the Bonham, they don't put the link so that uh, you can uh, press it. Homeless. You guys, really. Wow, wow, really. Wow. <laughs> but just to emphasize on what um, Ife just said, even though you um, you heard that Bonham Boy said something to you, to me, I feel the fact that you're close, even though you can't reach out to him, you have team members, uh, his team that I think you can uh, talk to. Why come on social media? Social media finds so many celebrities bring their issues on it, but this one, I just... What if I don't want to gossip and spread it just around people? I want to... But is it enough for you to come on social media to come and say that? It's, it is for Shatawale. That's <laughs> really... It, yeah. it That's is for... It's yeah, yeah, it I'm is for Shatawale. Stop talking too much. Yeah. yeah, I think he definitely mm, talks, talks a much. lot yeah. for... A, no, let me not say for a man, because the last time I said that, people were saying that's... <laughs> Uh, gender race and I guess mm -hmm. I guess so but because I would tolerate a woman talking too much but when a man starts to talk too much I'm like, yeah mm -hmm. what are you doing okay anyway um I, I'm sure Bernard Boy is going to ignore this completely mm -hmm. and maybe not to should we put our money on it do you think Bernard Boy, no Bernard Boy, Bernard Boy I feel if he doesn't Bernard come on social respond, media right? to say to talk about it in his music Maybe the music will release never. it. His Are you music. sure? I care. I feel his never. music. Ah. Like, maybe just a line to me. The to way me. he's doing okay. now, I don't think he'll respond because if for the fact that he said nothing about Joy, but what's her name? Love. What's that girl's name? Oh, oh, oh he's um. His side, oh, side okay, piece. Okay, okay. He'll never say what. So you don't feel about he's it. Satanist because it's just gonna help him some more. If a Bonner boy should talk about, <laughs> and Bonner boy is not willing to, unless this is a planned work. Now, if Bonner boy should respond, right? I don't be like, okay, ah. Charlie, they gonna yeah, help me small now, help me small. You be grammy now. You know, Charlie, you know, I, I be there your back that time. When you but she's looking at the business Chate side. Wally like uh -huh. this. She's had a, had a thingy with Beyonce. He's international too. Don't play. Don't look down on him. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. It's not like as if, well, no. That's true, I like he's, no, I know Chata. You're making it look yeah. like it's, um, we're talking about Burner Boy. Like, and, Burner Boy is supposed and, to give him this publicity. And who's mm -hmm. really new and your okay. fair that okay. just came. I've, Actually, it's even better. I'm afraid that that really? boy. That's the way you're like, like Burner Wayne Boys mm -hmm. would change his career. Like, come on, it's not that much. It's like maybe like, maybe like this. It's not like this. What is yes. like? Oh yes. wait, wait, show it's like, this, like this. this. Like yeah. this. Yeah. Like <laughs> like like yeah. Your longer hand makes it. Look <laughs> 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 I wish, I wish them the best. They should settle yeah. their issues together. Mm -hmm. I just like when it's not girls in 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 the. The news for fight because they say women now we like fighting. Whatever. Like that, I mean, I anyway, it's true. But they're not fighting. They're just. I, I I just hope um they they settle this though mm -hmm. because I know Bon. I don't know if Bonner, but I know David is back in um Lagos, but I don't know about Bonner. Is it back in Lagos? I you have know? no idea. Yeah, I think it's still in Ghana. So if it's still in Ghana, I think you should just walk. I it think out it's like still that. in Ghana. Yeah, yeah. It's still it based on these guys. Then whiskey too is still in Ghana, so. Please be mm -hmm. coming home. Don't go and get locked down there. <laughs> anyway, popular media personality V J Adams has offered insights on the future of making money from, from music via his official Twitter account. The ace broadcaster and musician shared the, the, that music artists would have to learn how to directly sell their songs to those who actually want them. This, according to the crooner, said it's simplest simplest and fastest way to make money <laughs> from being a recording artist. In his words, if you can sell your music to 2,000 people directly at 500 naira each, you would make one million naira. Hmm. This is the future for a lot of people. Sell directly to people that care. I mean, let's just think in that math really quickly. 2,000 people is not What if the lot. actual doc is this? <laughs> 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 no, let's be real. Mm -hmm. Let's be real. Music is universal. True. Music is for everybody. Why are you telling me to go? Sell? Then I can sell to all my family members and all my mm -hmm. friends and, and, you know, and get my family members to sell to their friends. Does it make my song a good song? No. Can my song thrive on the fact that it's a good music? I put it on streaming platforms and let 2,000 people stream my songs and I'm making more than 500 naira. You're not going to make more than 500 naira from, stream, I'm from just streaming 2,000. I'm not saying 2,000. I'm saying like, do you know how many people would actually stream it if I put it on streaming platforms like Audio Mac? Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? Like, 
I don't, I, I, don't, I don't support this because this is like taking on, this is not the future, this is the past. I remember when we had CDs and people used to be yes. on the street and they are take, like, sharing CDs mm -hmm. to the people that actually oh, want to well, buy it. Yeah, the fact that you actually so get you like 2,000 or 200 people to share your, CD, your music with. Are we That's talking about thing. making money yes. here? Okay. Yeah. Yes. So you don't think it's a fantastic idea? So I should not be looking mm -hmm. for 2,000 people that like yeah. my song. No worries. You leave it to the marketing <laughs> team. Like, I don't know. Okay, wait. Let me explain where I'm coming from for mm -hmm. you because I look like you've got to eat my head off. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the idea of still putting the streams on there. Okay. Now I work very I work very closely to the back end of streamings. Mm. It's not that much money. You have to have quite a lot of streams mm -hmm. to see a significant amount. Mm -hmm. And even then it is distributed by your it's distributed amongst your manager, your mm -hmm. whatever and whoever's and all, all all those people. Okay. It's not that much money. I know how much let me not um, open my business. Mm -hmm. But Ashano is it's just not a lot of money, okay. right? So the idea to me that you can monetize it like in other places, yeah, usually people buy their music on Apple okay. on um, Apple Music. Mm -hmm. Apple Music is maybe about like maybe 60, 70 naira or mm -hmm. something in Nigeria. Abroad is like maybe $2, $3. Okay. And you buy the music that you want sometimes, mm -hmm. if you, especially if you don't have the subscription that you're paying for for mm -hmm. Apple Music. So I think we'll already do that. Where It's just in Nigeria, people don't really buy music as much. Mm -hmm. But it is very normal to buy the music. It, it makes more sense that you push your music to people who really love it and want to own that okay. song. Because when you buy the music, what that means is that you can put it on your YouTube because you have copyright mm -hmm. ownership to like that you bought it. Those are, those are diehard fans. Nobody does that for just any kind of music. Mm -hmm. So it's not, I don't think there's anything wrong with the idea but, of you actually targeting, maybe mm -hmm. in the sense of like, give me, take your music, take my music, give me 500 naira and mm -hmm. only you will hear the music. Maybe that's a bit weird. And I don't know if that's what he's saying, but the idea that I, I can, I can, Focus my energy to the people okay. who would really want to spend money on me, mm -hmm. make it cheaper, and obviously increase the quality. I think it's just proper, like normal business. I feel Mark, like I as an know. artist, your you going into music. I don't feel you just want it to be locally. I feel you want to gain this international re recognition, like makes people see, know your music, recognize your talent. I don't think you can achieve that when you're selling your music and so on. Like okay, music. well that's the thing. He can never it be the future more than um, American music executives who believe in? Streams who believe in making music. But this guy, they're also talking about physical music now. Why are you people talking mm -hmm. like that? He, he never mentioned that you go and sell this thing to people physically. I know. Okay. Which is what I'm saying that that is even a backward thought. Because if you're talking about the internet, if mm -hmm. you're talking about streams, if you're talking about making music and you want to put it online, mm -hmm. what is now the point of looking for 2,000 people when I can get 2 million people? Okay, mm -hmm. he's not limiting it. Let's Can we, can we read that tweet again, uh. please? Because me or you are not getting it. Wait, because if you can sell your music to two thousand people direct. directly at five hundred naira, he didn't say where, he didn't say physically or digitally or whatever. Okay. You can make one million. This will be the future for a lot of people. Sell directly to the people who care. He doesn't tittle, title, however you say that word, title. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. I don't understand what he said. If anything, I was going to say that this thing is so old because people have been doing it already. Mm -hmm. Tidal, all these other platforms, you pay a certain amount of money anyway mm -hmm. to, get to get it. If you don't want to pay monthly, you pay per song. Mm -hmm. Every streaming platform has that. So then you pay per song or whatever, and you ca those guys already cater to me. If I start listening to somebody like... Uh, Ali Shakara. Okay. Then they start to um, bring in people who sound like her because they know that that's the kind of music that I like. Mm -hmm. So they're really marketing to me the people that I want to listen to. If I like them enough, I will support with money. So, I don't know. Whoa. 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 In, my, in my opinion, <laughs> I think this is, like you said, it's old school mm -hmm. and it's the past. True. It's not the future. Mm -hmm. I got offended when I saw this is the future. <laughs> okay. Do you understand? Do you, okay. That was okay. where I got offended. Oh, yeah. You know, okay, he should have just one. ended his post in that thing. Well, it wasn't he talking about the future. This would be the future for a lot of mm. people. What? Because people have been doing that already. Just Bro. centralizing Everybody it to people, has to been people marketing that would like to find where music. BJ Adams is coming from. It's not like he's making good music anyways. Okay. Ooh. Now and that's that, the shade on that, of 2021. Uh, let me just check my team. Mm. 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 Okay. So no, it's because, not a shade. I'm sure he knows it too. Oh, hey.